The lively 341-room Sunscape Resort Spa and Casino is one of the few fully all-inclusive hotels in Caraco. The modern lobby features a unique, curved, wave-like seating area and a large wave mural. The color palette includes lots of blues punctuated by bright oranges and yellows, the colors of the sea and the sun. The resort offers a typical all-inclusive experience for the Caribbean, with five restaurants and three pools, including one with a popular swim-up bar. The property was rebranded as a Sunscape in 2012. It was formerly a Super Club's Breezes, and has had updates to bring various elements up to brand standards. The result is a generic, crowded mega-resort without much local personality. Though guests of all ages will be found at the Sunscape, the property is certainly very family-friendly, with many games and sports available from soccer to snorkeling to rock climbing. The gardens throughout the property have lots of trees and grass, and more games can be found in the courtyards, like shuffleboard and chess. There is entertainment throughout the week, and the atmosphere is quite lively with loud music and lots of tourists hanging around. Those looking for peace and quiet and a less crowded, less touristy atmosphere should perhaps seek one of the boutique resorts closer to town. The Sunscape Resort is located on a man-made beach on the southeast coast of Caraco. The water is protected by a rock jetty just off the shore, creating a calm, shallow area for swimming. The hotel is located next door to the Cabana Beach Club. However, guests cannot reach it via the beach, they must walk over the road. The popular tourist areas around Mambo Beach and the Boulevard Shopping Mall provide plenty of shopping and nightlife and are less than a 10-minute walk from the hotel. The resort runs a free shuttle to the historic town of Willemstad, which is only about a 10-minute drive away. It's a 20-minute drive to the airport. The rooms and suites are modern, contemporary, and bright, with furniture in medium wood tones. A vibrant Caribbean-inspired style is evident in the color scheme. There are bright lime green, turquoise blue, and yellow accent colors in most rooms, and the large picture windows bring in lots of natural light. The entry-level room category is the Deluxe Garden View and the Deluxe Ocean View, Sun Club Ocean View, and Premium Deluxe Ocean Front are identical in terms of decor and size, 328 square feet. Only the views and some of the amenities change. Sun Club rooms are on the ground floor with easy beach access, while premium rooms have fridges stocked with beers and juices, rather than just water and sodas in other categories. Amenities in all rooms include flat-screen TVs, iPod docks, coffee makers, mini-fridges, and, most importantly, a decent-sized patio or deck with seating, many with sweeping ocean views. Some larger suites are available with extras such as kitchenettes, sofa beds, and bigger terraces. The bathrooms are contemporary and sleek, with updated tile and glass-walled walk-in showers with rainfall showerheads. There is an extra fee for Wi-Fi, except for Sun Club members who have Wi-Fi included. The main pool complex includes a large pool with different hexagonal parts connected by small channels, as well as a small side pool for volleyball. There are also two large in-ground hot tubs nearby. This popular main pool area is often crowded and can be lively and loud, especially with those all-inclusive beers flowing at the swim-up bar. In a different part of the property, there's a quiet kids' pool area with three shallow-tiered pools for children to play in. For an additional fee, guests can upgrade to the Sun Club, which provides members access to the Flamingo Pool and an exclusive beachfront area. The Flamingo Pool has nicer padded lounge chairs, nicer towels, and its own poolside bar and drink service. The Sun Club beach area is less crowded, with more upgraded loungers and nicer daybeds. The resort offers a variety of activities to keep everyone busy, kids and adults alike. Sports include beach soccer, beach volleyball, tennis, horseshoes, kayaks, snorkeling, and more. There's even a rock wall for climbing and a dive shop. Scuba diving and golf are extra. Nightly entertainment varies throughout the week. There is a teens club with darts and pool tables, and the resort offers an excellent kids clubhouse with video games and large outdoor playground area. Many of the activities center around the resort's large beach, which is man-made and has many lounge chairs provided, though the shady spots can fill up quickly in busy times. There is a rock jetty that creates a protected area with calm, shallow waters good for swimming and snorkeling. 
In total, the resort offers five restaurants, three small bars, and a small cafe in the lobby that serves coffee and pastries. There is no reservation system at the restaurants, and dining is first come, first serve. As a result, guests start lining up well in advance to make sure they get a spot at the nicer a la carte restaurants, and lines are sometimes long. Many guests still prefer this to the sometimes annoying reservation systems found at other all-inclusive properties, however. The Waterfront Steak Spot, Blue Water Grill, and the Italian restaurant De Mario are the most popular a la carte spots. There are also an Asian fusion restaurant with teppanyaki, Oceana Seafood Restaurant, and the All Day World Cafe, which serves standard buffet fare. There are a few gift shops around the property. The spa and well-equipped fitness center were updated in 2015, and there are plenty of treatment options available. There is a large casino on property called the Princess Casino that is separately owned. At Details in Luxury, we curate the finest and most luxurious hotel rooms and suites from around the world. We hope you enjoyed our video. Feel free to check out other hotels and resort videos in the channel. We would appreciate it if you could leave us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.